chapter 7 metal pi bounded ligands in the previous chapters we studied the sigma donor ligands for example carbonyl to metal phosphine to metal and hydrides to metal in this chapter we will study the pi bounded ligands to form alkene alkyne allyl cyclopentadienyl diene metallocycles and arene complexes In 1825, a scientist named Zeise prepared the salt known as Zeise's salts, KCl, PTCl2, ethanol, by reaction of KPTCl4 with ethanol. And by accident, he discovered the first metal alkene complex which was possible by the dehydration of ethanol after 13 years another scientist isolated by another method of preparation from a solution of platinic acid treated with ethylene he isolated the zyzes formulation so zyzes salts was the first organometallic compound to be isolated in a pure form and nowadays the preparation of these complexes increase and Zeiss's example still serves as the simplest example of transition metal olefin complexation Zeiss's salts has become one of the most cited examples and several studies structural studies were centered on the explanation of the bond between the metal and alkene and we have a model named dewar chad dankinson model that explain the formation of bond in the metal olefin complexation the dewar chad dankinson model explains the type of chemical bonding between unsaturated ligand like alkene and a metal forming a pi complex if we draw the molecular orbital diagram for ethene we found that the pi orbital is the highest occupied molecular orbital and the antibonding pi star is the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital so by theory ethene is donor of electron from the pi orbital and is pi acceptor in the level pi star so the pi, the pi acid ligand, like alkene, donates electrons to the metal d orbital from a pi symmetry bonding orbital between the carbon atoms. The possibility of back donation from M to alkene can be realized if the metal M is rich in electron density and since the olefin has a, an orbital pi star that can receive this donation. So first of all, we have donation of the pi electrons to the metal d orbital. Then we have the possibility of pi back donation from md pi orbital to the orbital pi star of ethene if we have only donation from m from alkene 
to M, we obtain this structure known as L type. And if the back donation occurs, so we will have this structure known as X2 structure. So the metal donates electrons back from a filled d pi orbital into the empty pi star antibonding orbital of the ligand, and this depends only on the nature of the M. If M is rich in electron density, and we will see in the next slides that the group R on the ethene plays important role in the acceptance of the electron by back donation. Both of these effects, the donation of the pi electrons of olefin to the metal M and the pi back donation from d pi orbital of M to the pi star of olefin will decrease the bond order of the bond CC since the donation is from an orbital pi, so from electron bonding, and we increase the anti-bonding electrons by receiving them in the pi star orbital. This will, will lead to elongated CC distance and therefore lowering in the stretching frequency in infrared. The, length, the lengthening of the CC bond in metal bond olefin complex depends on the pi basicity of the metal, or in other words, it depends on the electron density around the metal M. For example, for a weak pi basic metal or a metal poor in electron density, the CC bond distance is anticipated to be small, while for a strong pi basic metal or a metal rich in electron, the CC bond distance would, would be significant. We have example published uh, the nickel uh, compound Ni ethene P triphenylphosphine 2, the CC bond distance is 143 picometer, which is greater than that in the free ethylene, which is 134 picometers. Consider the three following complexes. The oxidation state in the first is a platinum 2 and it's 16 electron complex. In the second is a platinum zero, 16 electron complex. And in the third is a platinum two, 16 electron uh, complex. The electron density is, a greated, is the greatest in the third. So we will have a strong buyback donation from platinum to alkene to form the metallocyclopropene. The experiment proved that in the second complex, we have medium pi back donation and no pi back donation in the third, since the platinum is poor in electron density due to the presence of the Cl groups. The presence of Cn minus, or, or the presence of the Cn ligands on the alkene will pump the electron density of the alkene so it can receive pi, by pi back donation from the platinum. So the presence of electron withdrawing groups like Cn on the alkene is another factor that will favor the pi back bonding. And when we say pi back bonding, 
we talked about the X2 type. So we have transfer of two electrons to the alkene to form a dianionic metallocyclopropane ligand that is now coordinated, coordinated via two anionic alkyl sigma bonds in the X2 model. Consider this complex of zirconium. The oxidation state is plus two and the electron density around zirconium is high due to the presence of two CP groups. So two electrons are transferred from D orbitals of zirconium to the butadiene via the pi back donation and will generate a metallocyclopentene resonance structure. In the Dewar Chad Dankinson model or the L type, the hybridization of the carbon of ethene bound to the metal is SB2. When the pi back donation from the metal to the pi star orbital of olefin occurs, we pass from hybridization sp2 to hybridization sp3, and this is the x2 type. So how can we distinguish in the experiment between L type and, and x2 type? The change in the hybridization can be detected experimentally by hydrogen and carbon NMR and by infrared. In the metallocycle system or the X2 type, which have a strong metal pi back donation to ligand, the proton of the vinyl group appear 5 ppm in the hydrogen NMR and 100 ppm in the carbon-13 NMR high field with respect to the respective position of the free ligands. In other words, when we have bond between the metal and alkene ligand, we could not predict the real structure if we have L-type or X2-type. We can predict the type theoretical, but the type is approved by experiment by measuring the chemical shift in hydrogen and carbon NMR or the infrared frequencies. Consider this table of metal alkene complexes. When we have more pi back bonding from the metal to the alkene ligand, we have, we decrease the bond order of the C double bond C, and therefore we, we observe the stretching frequency at lower values in the infrared. So if we look to these complexes, for example, the free ethylene is at 1,623 centimeter minus one. If we consider the complex platinum minus, which is rich in electron density, so the pi back bonding from platinum to ethylene will be great and will decrease the bond order of ethylene. Therefore, we will observe mu CC at lower frequency. The Ag plus complex have no pi back bonding. So the drop in the CC bond stretching frequency is completely due to the sigma donation from the, from the alkene to the Ag plus. To note that the electrons are donated from the pi system of the alkene to the metal, but this bond can be considered as sigma donation. Reactivity of metal alkene complexes. 
a free alkene is considered a lactone rich due to the presence of the pi electrons in its outermost valence orbital and therefore it undergoes an electrophilic attack. When olefin is bound to a metal to give metal olefin, the reactivity is quite different. The chemical reactivity of the metal bound olefin appear opposite to that of a free olefin. So we have two types of metal alkene. We have the L type, where the back donation from M to alkene is poor, and we have the X2 type that forms the metallocycle, the back donation from M to alkene is great. In the L type, we have very little pi back bonding. So the metal bound olefin complex having predominantly sigma donation of the olefinic pi electron and negligible metal pi back donation. So the carbon of alkene becomes positively charged and therefore undergoes a nucleophilic attack, which is inverse of the reactivity of the free olefin. So as a summary, the reactivity of the metal alkene is different from that of free alkene. In the L type, the alkene is electron poor and prone to attack by a nucleophile. In the X2 type, and due to the pi back donation from M to the alkene, the carbons are carbonion like and prone to attack by electrophiles. Metal alkene and metallocycle electronic counting. The metallocycle or the X2 form, it's an, it's an extreme case of strong pi back bonding from metal to the alkene ligand. Second, the metal alkene system can be considered as head to two structure. The C atom of the alkene in the X2 type is sp3, that in L type is sp2. In the X2 type, we have two bonds to the metal, so the dewar chad dankinson model or L type no longer applies. So how to count the X2 type or the L type? In the ionic model, in the X2 configuration, the alkene is considered di-anionic for electron donor to the metal. In the L type, the alkene is considered neutral and two electron donor to the metal. As a summary of the metal alkene complexes, Alkenes are important class of unsaturated ligands that bind to a metal by sigma donation of the pi electrons of C double bond C and also accept electrons from D pi orbital of the metal to the antibonding pi star orbital of C double bond C. The sigma donation of the pi electrons of alkene to M and the pi back donation of M to pi star of alkene have a significant impact on their structure and reactivity properties. Quite important, the structural manifestation arise out of this forward sigma donation and pi back donation and can be characterized by hydrogen and 13 nanomer and by infrared spectroscopic method. To note that by theory, we can predict the X2 type or L type, but the experiment is the only method to prove the structures. 
Another example of pi ligand system to metal is the complex metal cyclobutadiene. Cyclic conjugated pi system are aromatic if the number of pi electrons is equal to 4n plus 2 where n is integer number. Cyclobutadiene is anti-aromatic since it has only four pi electrons and this property combined with the ring strain makes the simple molecule unstable to exist. So butadiene is unstable molecule to exist in our system. When cyclobutadiene is bound to a metal M, the bound it stabilizes this cyclobutadiene. For example, we have we have a nickel complex containing cyclobutadiene uh, ligand and it was a stable metal coordinated butadiene molecule prepared in 1959. And this was predicted theoretically by some organometallic chemists in 1956 using an early form of the molecular orbit. The high stability of cyclobutadiene coordinated to a metal is due to the mixing of the four electrons of cyclobutadiene with one orbital of the metal, the orbital D, that has two electrons. And this will obey to the relation 4n plus 2. And the right symmetry to mix in and form a pi, six pi electron aromatic system. The alkynes complexes, like alkene, alkynes has two pairs of pi electrons. So can, they can act as two electron or four electron donor and that depends on the nature of the metal center. They are also much better bridging ligands because of the second pair of the pi electron. Alkynes behave in ways similar to alkenes, but since they are more electronegative, they tend to favor the back donation and bind more strongly to the metal center. The MC distances are slightly shorter due to this strong bond than in the corresponding alkene complexes. Metal arenes complexes, the most important ligand in the family of arenes is benzene that can coordinate to M by HEP to 6, HEP to 4, or HEP to 2. HEP to 6 and HEP to 4 are the common models. The first metal benzene complex was prepared in 1955 by reaction of chromium complex with aluminum in the presence of benzene to generate the chromium arenes too. But to note that the method of preparation of metal arene is too difficult due to the formation of several byproducts. One of the most important characteristic in the metal arene complexes is the pi back donation from M to arene that plays important role in the bonding in, in, in its bonding and its chemistry. And as we know, arenes do not coordinate very strongly to the metal, but they tend to favor metals in low oxidation state 
and generate stable complexes. The complex chromium aryl 2 for example, is stable and inert to most substitution reaction. And this is due to its 18 electron configuration and to the mixing of the pi bonding of aryl to chromium and the chromium back donation to aryl so the mixing of the pi bonding and pi back bonding but to remember that the pi back bonding from m to aryl is not so strong that in case of carbonyl and nitrosyl ligands Consider some metal arenes complexes, complexes of titanium arene and the chromium arene. The experiment in the experiment, we measure the bond MC and the distance between two arenes groups and the bond distance of the CC bond. The chromium has bond distance MC shorter than titanium. That means the chromium arene is stronger that, than titanium arene. So what is the explanation? According to the periodic table, the chromium is D6 and titanium is D4. So the complex chromium arene is more electron rich than titanium. Therefore, the back donation from chromium to the arene group is greater than that in the case of titanium to arene. And since the back donation chromium to arene is greater, so the bond is stronger and therefore MC is shorter. When MC is shorter, so the distance between two arenes will be shorter in the case of chromium complex. And since the back donation from M to arene is stronger in the case of the chromium, so it will stabilize the bond the chromium arene and destabilize CC bond. Therefore, the CC bond distance is greater in the case of chromium. To note that the experiment prove that we have exception in the prediction and the calculation of the amount of the pi back donation in case of metal arene complexes. But as a general rule, as back bonding from M to arene increase, the bond M arene is stronger and therefore is shorter. Metal cyclopentadienyl complex. The cyclopentadienyl ligand CP minus is one of the most and important ligands in organometallic chemistry. The bond MCP is highly stable and CP is never released from the metal. The hapticity of the cyclopentadiene ligand can be changed from HAP25 to, to HAP23 to, to HAP21. To In HAP25, the CP is an ionic 6 electron donor. In HAP23, an ionic 4 electron donor. And in HAP21, an ionic 2 electron donor. The structure of ferrocene has a sandwich structure with a bonding interaction from each ring carbon to the metal. The researcher drawn a single bond from the metal to the middle of the CP ring, but the experiment or the X-ray diffraction proved that the metal is bound to five carbon atom from each side and 
that's make the ferrocene highly stable. 